Hello all, here is an uh, continue for the last uh, video on Prox P2, Prox B2 gene in uh, gene database. And here is Prox P2 in Homo sapiens. Here is uh, the summary and uh, other content that have been uh, talked about in the previous uh, video and uh, today we will talk on uh, uh, types like HIV interaction which is very obviously uh, talked about the HIV interaction in uh, this gene and here is some interactions uh, with uh, this gene also it's uh, general gene information it's an homology in other organisms and uh, here is uh, general protein information but importantly nowadays uh, we will talk about NCBI reference sequence or RIFSIC the NCBI RIFSIC sequence uh, it will give you an information about the reference sequence that have been generated for PROXP2 in the genomic subsection uh, here there are an accession number uh, link it to the genomic sequence for FOXP2. Later, we will talk about an accession number uh, with uh, more details. And there are a couple of links here. So, uh, the first one is GenBank. If you click on GenBank, it will open an entry page for FOXP2 gene. It, it's also a link for FASTA. This is a format used for storing sequence data. If you click in FASTA, it will give you uh, a genomic sequence in FASTA format. This is also a link uh, to sequence viewer and it is uh, similar uh, when we have a look uh, to exons and introns it will give you a genomic of FOXP2 with the uh, visual uh, graphics. We then have a section to uh, messenger RNA and protein sequence that have been generated for FOXP2. This will uh, showing you a link to messenger RNA sequence. If you click in uh, NM here, yeah. it will give you a reference sequence of messenger RNA sequence for FOXP2. And this MB will open a page for RIFSIC protein sequence for FOXP2. And we have a different link out to different database. Some of them are NCPI, here is different database. For example, the Uniprot KB, SwissProt database which will link out to the functional annotation of FOXP2 by clicking this. Uh, we talked about it previously. Uh, if you click in GenBank entry, it will give you uh, organi uh, organism and uh, full name. And here is a transcript. It's not a gene. It's a transcript. It tells you that it's a messenger RNA. It's not a DNA sequence. Uh, then uh, it gives you uh, an accession number, then it's a first step or modeling and graphics. And this is the information we get back. It tells you here is the accession number to genomic sequence. It tells you the length. Here is the accession number and then it is an, a length. And it tells you that it is an, uh, a messenger RNA and it is linear. linear. It's not a circular uh, sequence. Then it is a primary sequence that have been submitted in uh, December 2020. Again, it gives you definition and accession number and then the version. It's an, uh, the fourth version. Here is. This is a fourth version of this sequence. Then it tells you uh, the keywords that uh, have been used to search for this uh, sequence. Then the organism and source. The source is uh, Homo sapiens human and the organism and the lineage. Here is uh, the reference uh, authors. And here is uh, the reference to actual studies that have been submitted uh, sequence data from which the reference sequence of FOXB2 have been generated. So in top here, if you click in FASTA link, you will get uh, the actual sequence in FASTA format. The format of FASTA is usually starting with greater than uh, sign here. 
This greater than sign followed by the description line, which is uh, essentially describing what is the sequence is, and it contains a various information. But in most cases, it contains the name of the sequence, the organism in which the sequence come from, and then it followed by the sequence itself here, which is a set uh, number of character about 60 character. Here is from here to here is a 60 character. 